how many of y'all know this is just the beginning? Now it's time to be tested to see what's inside of us that has to be tried. Okay. That's what this process is about. That's what this journey with the brothers, that's what they're dealing with. There are some parts of us that don't look like his image. There's some parts of us that don't reflect his likeness. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's some parts. So the test is necessary. The change is necessary. We are to be made into his image and his likeness according to his promise, his word that does not go back to him void. But what does it do? It accomplishes everything that he sent it out to do. Jesus said it was finished. So that means whatever he was sent to do, we know what he was sent to do, to free us from ourselves and our sin and the power of death. Listen, it is finished. That means that in our process, right, we need to be, we're free, but we need to be justified. We need to be justified. When Jesus came, you know, we needed to be justified. It was his death that justified me and you. Now we can start this process of sanctification. We're talking about growth. We're talking about change, right? This is where we can change. This is where we can grow in divine grace. This is where we need that strength to deal with hardships of life. When we accepted Christ, we made a commitment. This commitment requires a skill set that is only found out and is developed through the refining process of our faith. Some of us, we would have never known that we had a gift in certain areas in our life or a talent or a liking, or even let's say a passion until we were challenged or we hit a wall or we failed at one area and we got back up and guess what? All of a sudden I have a passion for this. All of a sudden, oh my God, people are telling me I'm good at doing this. All of a sudden, a lot of people are coming to me because of this, right? Sometimes, again, until that opposition comes, until that challenge comes, we wouldn't even know what God has put in place inside of each and every one of us. This faith is what fuels our walk. 